This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. This SQL video goes along with APEX 09. In APEX 09, we looked at how to add data to static and dynamic LOVs, but we also did some data cleanup. We took a column called primary color, which had text typed in and mixed case, sometimes only uppercase, sometimes only lowercase, and sometimes with a, with a mix of upper and lower case. I want to spend a little more time on that syntax and talk about the functions upper and lower. So I'm going to switch over to SQL Developer. I won't do this in Apex because I want to work at the database level. So I'm logged in as Animal Shelter, as we see here, the schema, Animal underscore Shelter. So I have some code here, select, then I list some of the columns from the animals table, not all animal underscore ID, name, dom underscore breed underscore ID, and primary color from the table animals, from animals. So when I try to run this, I get an error message. And sometimes I will show you code that I know is going to generate an error so that you can see the error and become familiar with things that are likely to be the cause. If I see missing expression, usually that means that I have a list of columns in the select clause and I have added an extra comma. Maybe I was going to type another column and then I decided not to. That extra comma is indicating that SQL, when it tries to interpret the command, was expecting another column name, but instead it got the from clause. So I simply have to remove the comma and I can run this command. So I'm seeing the animal ID and the name and dominant breed ID and primary color. I'm going to add a where clause and I'm going to do dom breed ID equal to four. All I did was come over to dom breed and look at the numbers and Chihuahua is four. So I picked that. I know I have several Chihuahuas in the database. So I'll run this query just to limit the number of rows of output. Now, what we did on the cleanup, let me pause the video while I type in the code. We used update animal set primary underscore color equal to and put primary underscore color inside a lower case function, the lower function. And when we did that, without a WHERE clause, very important, without a WHERE clause, we altered every row of data in that table. Now what I would like to do is, I want to just to illustrate the use of these functions and the WHERE clause. I'm going to do WHERE, just like I had above, and do DOM breed ID is equal to 4. So I'm going to run this, highlight that, and run it, or click anywhere inside that command, and do the single command execution. Notice it said eight rows updated, and we know we have over 50, 51 or two rows of data. Let me run this query again, and we're seeing that primary color for breed ID 4 is now in uppercase. Let me add here, or dom breed ID is equal to five. I don't even know what breed that is. Let's see if we have it. I'll run this query again. And so we're seeing that only for breed four, Chihuahua, do we have the colors in capital letters. So let me clean up the data again. I'll switch this to lower. I'll leave this as breed, DOM breed ID equal to 4. Run that. Run my first query again. 
and I've got everything in lower case. Now, I can come up here for display purposes only, and I could do an upper function. This does not affect the data in the actual table, but for display for the result, I can switch the case here. So now I'm going to do upper primary color, and I'm going to even add a column alias. So I'll say pet name. So instead of seeing this upper function as the column heading, I'll see pet name. Out here, I'll do color in double quotes. When you use the double quotes, we're going to preserve case. Let's run this. So now I'm seeing pet name all in caps, color all in caps. The data has not changed. So that's a little bit more about using the update command and seeing the impact of using things like the upper and lower function. We can do it for display purposes only, or we can change it at the database level with something like an update. It occurred to me after I finished the video, this SQL for Apex 9, that I should probably show you what to do if you inadvertently use an update statement without a WHERE clause so that you make a change throughout the database table, but you didn't intend to do that. So I'm going to log into Animal Shelter. And if I look at animals right now, click on that table, click on the data tab, we see our primary color is all in lower case. So let's say that for some reason, and I've copied this code, let's say for some reason I just want to set uppercase for dominant breed 5. But I forget to put in the WHERE clause. What I've done here is I've commented it out. So now I'm going to run this. And then I think, oh no, I didn't want to do that. It's helpful to know that there are two things that can help you undo something as long as you haven't done the commit command. Remember, commit will force the data from RAM into the table where the data is stored. You can set a save point. So if you have several things that you're going to execute, more than one command, then you could say, this is where I want to put a marker. So if I need to, I can, can revert back to that. So I'm going to do set save point or save point. And down here we see save point created. Now, let me run a different update command. I'll clean this up in another video, but I'll show you how this might work. But right now it will illustrate uh, rollback and save point. We created a list of values where we list dogs as canine, and we're going to need to clean that up. But right now, let's say that I have cats, dogs, birds, various animals that have come into the shelter. If I run this command, update command, I'm going to turn all those animals into canines. So I run this command, and then I go, wait a minute, wait a minute, I didn't mean to do that. So what I can do is issue a rollback to begin point. You can do just rollback, but using the save point gives you a marker to roll back to. So if you were making several changes, you might not want to roll back all your changes, but the one you just did because you realized you needed a where clause. So I can execute this and it says rollback complete. In fact, when you exit SQL Developer, if you haven't done a commit, you will have an option to commit changes or rollback. But it's better to do it explicitly here with a command. So I'm going to do a commit and see where I stand on my data. Let's do a commit. Go to Animals, do a refresh. So I rolled back the canine setting. It's back to dog, but all the primary color entries are in caps. I did this before I did my save point and before I did the rollback to my save point. In this particular situation, this is not a big deal because we're simply changing the upper case to lower case. 
so I can come up here and change that. But there are many ways that you can use update where if you don't have a where clause to limit the execution, you're going to be making changes throughout the table unintentionally. Hopefully this will help you avoid that.